Hello everyone and a very warm welcome to Economicspedia where we help you ace your dreams come true. So uh, today in this session we will be discussing about Indian economic services related to the book list for the paper 4 that is Indian economics. The paper name is Indian economics. So uh, before coming to uh, before going with this session I would really like you to remind that we have some of the previous sessions on uh, the uh, book list for other three papers that is general economics 1, general economics 2 and general economics 3. You can simply click on the card that is appearing on your screen for the book list 1 and uh, for book list 2 and 3 you will also find the links given in the description box so if you have not checked this yet go to the de description box and check this out because this is important for you if you are preparing yourself for Indian economic services. So this Indian economics paper that is paper 4 of Indian economics service examination has been divided into total 11 parts that's right there are total 11 parts so therefore the preparation of uh, for this paper is very crucial and therefore you have to take up some of the minutely and measured steps in order to prepare for yourself so let's begin today's session with our first part that is we have here history of development and planning so below in this portion you will be able to find the parts that has been mentioned under this part one okay so you can go through this you can pause the video and have a look at it now for the reference of for part one of the total syllabus of indian economics is either umagapila or from the datsundaram follow either one of it otherwise the problem you know how it is so therefore uh, it is highly recommended to follow either of the book now moving to part two that is federal finance again this is the part so you can pause the video and have a look at it here the reference as you can see has been mentioned as a no book that's right so no book is recommended for federal finance but you here have to download some of the reports you have to follow some of the polity books for polity books there are many uh, available in the market but i would personally recommend you to go for the lakshmikant as it is uh, there in a very concise manner with some of the updates recent updates are also there so uh, and follow the reports like uh, follow the rbi report so you have to download some of the import rep important reports from the important websites all right now let's move to our part three that is budgeting and fiscal policy so this is a part comprises of tax expenditure budgetary deficits okay then there is fiscal reforms there is also frbm act this frbm act was there in the past exam the past year examination that is in the year 2020 so frbm act was there therefore you can find uh, that how important the parts are and therefore the reference for part three will be directly coming from indian budget again you do not have to follow any of the books here but you do have to get hold of some of the important websites the websites are given over here that is uh, gov.in and also rbi.org.in so these are the sites there uh, that you have to get hold of before preparing for you know the upcoming examination all right let's move to part four here the part four is comprising of poverty unemployment as well as human development so this is the sub part here uh, you also need to you know go through the estimates of inequality what are the poverty measures of india then what are the government measures that has been taken up etc etc so here i'm just simply gonna jump to the reference and here the reference is umagapila or mishrapuri either of the two do not follow both because that will uh, create confusions so you do not want to get confused while preparing therefore it is important to uh, follow either one now it is important that for unemployment and poverty you follow this part that is uma kapila and mishra puri and for the human development here you need to follow the undp website and its associated and corresponding news these are very much important again 
Okay, with this we are going to move to part 5 that is agriculture and rural development strategies. So these are the sub parts of it where you have to go through the land relations and land reform, what are the uh, improvements in rural credit and also rural development programs in which include you know the poverty alleviation program obviously then economic and social infrastructural uh, national, uh, new rural employment guarantee scheme. So these are few of the parts that has been included under this sub part. So here the reference that you need to go through is Uma Kapila. Now this Uma Kapila is exclusively I can uh, recommend you for the agricultural part but for the rural development and strategies you have to follow the EPW articles. Alright, economic, political, weekly articles. So you can go through that. I know that EPWs are not always available because uh, it requires some of the subscription policies or something like that is there. So what you can do is uh, uh, into this EPW you will find some of the articles which are uh, available without any payment. So it is recommended on my behalf for you all of you to go through those articles because um, that will help you to get your you know edge over the concepts and what are the developments recent developments over the uh, rural uh, development strategies and other areas as well so therefore this epw is recommended for the second part that is rural development study and also for the agricultural part as well now let's move to part six here we have India's experience with urbanization and migration. Now we all know this urbanization and migration are very important whenever we talk about Indian experience because we know that um, if we take a look at the development theories, uh, there are many models related to this urbanization and migration. But Indian economics, the part in the Indian economics is certainly different from that of the developmental economics so as you can see these are the sub parts of it where you also have to include this de urban development strategies what are the development strategies then you know uh, some of the impacts of migratory flows so these things are included here and therefore the reference is no books but newspapers as well as the articles of epw you can also find and get hold of the jstor articles uh, about this jstor i have uh, discussed in one of my previous sessions related to the book list for paper 3 that is general economics paper 3 you can find and uh, get the details about the jstor all right so i'm not gonna uh, take much time with this so for part 6 it is highly recommended for you to go through the newspapers as well as the epw paper uh, articles now, uh, with this newspaper, I would request you to hold on because at the end, I'm going to give you a brief about the newspaper, how to get hold of the newspapers. Different types of newspapers are there, but which one to follow and which one to not, which portion to follow and which portion to not. This part I'm going to discuss at the end of this session. So hold on till the end. Okay, so we are good to move to part six. Let's move it. And we are here. The part six is related to the industry. That is the strategies of industrial development are included these are sub parts i'm not gonna read it uh, if you want you can pause the video and have a look at it so here i'm simply gonna give you the reference the reference is either of the books either uh, uma kapila or mishra puri or if you do not have both then you can also follow that sundaram but follow either one all right because uh, the common things are there so it is always uh, good if you follow any one of the book all right now let's move to part eight that is labor now under labor you do have some of the topics that are common in the macroeconomics like uh, unemployment employment underemployment so what is the difference between them the minute difference okay then social issues relating to some of the labors like child labor is there bonded labor is there labor standards all right, so these parts are included under labor. Here the reference is again, no book, but you have to get through the newspapers, Economic Survey of India, Ministry of Labor, you can follow that website and the ILO. So these uh, four parts are needed to get hold of this part eight of Indian, economic, uh, Indian economic syllabus. 
all right so that is newspaper economic survey ministry of labor and ilo what are the improvements that are going on what are the changes that are going on in ilo uh, and also the ministry of finance and economic survey you always need to get hold of at least past two years economic survey with the current year then only you can say that your preparation is up to the mark okay now moving to part nine that is the foreign trade these are the sub parts of it and the reference is no, partially books but mainly focusing on the wto website that is the world trade organization websites also the ministry of commerce and industry so these two websites you need to follow regularly and get hold of the updates that what are they doing how much of the time period is there what are the time of uh, changes in the time period who are the new countries to be included in the wto etc etc so you need to go through with this especially get hold of the bilateral trade agreements that are taking place all right and apart from this you also have to follow any of the books uh, uma kapila or mishra puri or das sundaram but uh, here you need to only go through the basics of it like foreign trade the basic part you can go through the books but for um, uh, the changes of the recent dev update you have to follow the websites because there you can find the uh, Uh, recent changes all right now we are moving to the second last part of uh, indian economic services that is money and banking so here the sub part are given like this where you also have to include the financial ref uh, reforms then there is a uh, role of sebi that is security exchange board of india and uh, some of the um, indian spot market and the future markets especially for concerning the commodity markets and also the role of fmc so these are the parts under money and banking here the reference uh, exclusively books are there and also the newspaper that is sb gupta that is there under the book of uh, one of the books also you can follow lm bhole now this lm bhole i have also recommended for the financial economics uh, part in the uh, paper 2 that is general economics paper 2 i have included this lm bhole part and along with that you have to go through the newspapers that is the recent changes that are taking place the recent policies that are been taken up by rbi or sebi in order to uh, get indian economy into control or to make it in a better position so therefore those updates you can find not in the books but in the newspapers all right so with this we are at the end of our uh, syllabus that is inflation part 11 these are the basic uh, you know the uh, parts under inflation that is the wholesale price index is there consumer price index is there now i also would like to recommend and highlight this that this wholesale price index and consumer price index the difference between these two uh, came in the examination of 2020 so this part is becoming very very important you cannot you know actually leave any part you have to be very much uh, confident that uh, if you do leave a part then you have to be very much confident on the parts that you have covered okay so on the reference of it you can uh, get hold of any macro book if you have don bush that is good if you have froyen that is good if you do not have any of the two then you can get hold of any macro book that you are comfortable with but along with it i would like to recommend you to go through the dat sundaram parts of inflation where you can get hold of this wholesale price index and consumer price index in great details you can also find this uh, definition and um, difference into this mishra puri as well so therefore it is important for uh, everyone to get hold of this inflation part from any of the macro book or from the uh, books of indian economics all right now we have come to the part where we are going to discuss some of the extras that you can find other important references so for the general um, study portion that is uh, some of the parts that are not uh exclusively included in the part 11 parts that we have just discussed but there are some of the topics uh, if you take a look at the past year questions then you can find that general uh, for that areas for those areas you need to get hold of the general studies like the polity area geography area the history of indian economics as well so this is the area that you need to get hold of and this parts are automatically going to cover if you are preparing for the general study gs that is uh, one of the common papers of ies and iss all right now we are going to discuss the newspapers that i have been mentioning the newspapers 
here as you can find that the three names are given the hindu indian express as well as the economic times so here again um yes you are thinking like in a right direction if you are thinking that you have to go through three of it um kind of yes but it is highly recommended not to go uh, and follow three newspapers in a day well you can follow sub parts of it okay like a uh, few parts of hindu because in hindu as i have already mentioned in my past videos as well uh, i uh, recommend you to go to the editorial sections of the hindu it is very important like editorials and opinions the part from hindu that same thing is there in the economic times as well so these opinion parts you can go through because that will help you in many ways number 1 forming your answer number 2 getting hold of your uh, extreme level of uh, vocabulary so therefore it is highly recommended for you to follow newspapers regularly i know it may be difficult for you in the beginning but once you get hold of it then it will become simply a piece of cake for everyone that's right i'm telling it for everyone even those who do not have a very strong english background if you are afraid of it then contact us uh, for any further queries and you know the number that is the whatsapp number and the official mail id you can contact us for any type of assistance we are always there to help you don't forget to drop a mail if you have any query or drop a message in our whatsapp number we will contact you and you can also follow us in the youtube facebook as well as the instagram channel the links are given in the description box i would request all of you to get hold of it and check it below in the description box thank you very much for watching this if you like the sessions i would request you to hit the like button and if you are new to our channel you know what to do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you never miss any update from our channel thank you very much for your kind attention i would really love to see you in our one of our next sessions with an exciting topic where we can discuss some of the important topics and concepts of economics thank you everyone have a great day